on a, uh, I'm a submarine Navy guy. Does everybody who here does not know what a submarine is? Oh, no. Uh, I know. You know what a submarine is? I know. 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 Okay, so uh, basically a submarine is a type of U.S. Navy ship, uh, but the difference between a regular ship that floats in the water, a submarine, actually goes all the way underwater, under the ocean, real deep for weeks, months at a time. And that's what I do. So, um, <clears throat> So we stay underwater and we do a lot of missions and exercises for the U.S. Navy um, to protect uh, uh, against enemy, uh, enemy countries and stuff like that and we get intelligence. Okay. So that's what I do when I'm on the ship. But right now, I'm stationed what's called shore duty, which is a normal job just like your teacher every day. It shows up Monday through Friday and they teach the class. So I'm a teacher at uh, Fort Island and I teach submarine firefighting. Okay. So what I do is that I get a bunch of young boys and girls, roughly 18 to about 30 years old, and I teach them how to fight fires. Okay, It's real important that they know how to fight fires because what happens in a fire if you're in a house and it's burning up? Go ahead. You won't be safe. Exactly. Great answer. Yeah, you know, you no, it's down. When it takes away the oxygen and it lowers it down. And like Dylan oh, said, we end up, you can't breathe and we end up, you know, eventually pass out. Okay, go ahead. Did you have an answer? Great answer. Right. She said, basically, when there's a fire in the house, firefighters, uh, what they do is they put masks on. That's the same thing that I teach in my, in my <coughs> class for the students. They put oxygen masks on, so they go in there, and they save the cats, they save the dogs, they save uh, mommy and daddy, the brothers, sisters, they get them out of there and take them outside so they can breathe on their own. Sorry. And the baby, too. <laughs> if, if you have babies at home. The yeah, firefighters will get them out, and that would be really bad. But let's, the obvious thing for fires, okay, um, you'll burn. You'll burn right away. So what I do is I make sure that the new generation submarine guys, they go into the class, and if there is a fire on board the ship, or in this case a submarine, they can put it out right away, and they can continue on with, with the mission. Right? And that just depends on what we do for that underway period. Yes, that is a true statement. Did everybody hear what she said? Yes. Yes. So if you do catch on fire, you just stop, drop, and roll. And what that does is it smothers the fire, puts it out. Go ahead. You might not survive, but that's why I'm here to teach the submarine guys is that if there is a fire, we don't get all the way to that point where we lose someone. We call them shipmates in the Navy. So we, we train them so that we can save each and every one of them. It will come out. Um, that's, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. In, this, in the submarine navy, as well as the navy itself, we wear what's called um, FFEs. FFEs are um, fire retardant uh, clothing in the navy so that uh, it, it won't catch on fire. So if there is a fire everywhere, let's say for this example, this classroom is on fire, our firefighters put on protective equipment just like firefighters out in town. Okay, so when they go in to save the cats, dogs, the babies as well too, um, they don't catch on fire. At the same time, it doesn't heat up their skin too much where they have to get out. Okay. So basically, that's what I do. I've been in the Navy for over 18 years. Okay. I did uh, I did over 11 years being out to sea on board submarines, and I am now enjoying a 9-to-5 job, just like your teacher, Monday through Friday, uh, for now. So um, anybody have any other questions for me? And when there's smoke in your house, you have to crawl down so you can get to the door. That is a great 
response there. That we actually teach that in uh, in my class, uh, in firefighting class. If there is fire, okay, what happens? Right, you start seeing smoke. Right, smoke. What what happens to smoke when you start seeing it? Does it rise or does it lower? Rise. Rises. Rises, right? So when it rises, your best thing to do when there's a fire is to get as low as possible. You get as low as possible. There's no smoke or not as much smoke, and you can see in front of you a little bit more. Where's the time? Where's the time? That's great. That's great. We actually teach that in class. That's awesome. Oh, go ahead. Yes, that, that is true. Now on normal uh, normal buildings, I'm sure this building as well too, there, there are alarms in, in place. So when it senses heat or smoke or anything like that, it makes an alarm. Unfortunately, on, in the submarine force, we don't have any of those alarms. We have what's called watch standards. I don't know. 24 okay. hours a day, for seven days a week. Okay? And their main responsibility, no, they have several there, responsibilities. Yeah. Um, one of them is okay. really important one. I want to go daddy. Can I go daddy? If they start seeing smoke or flame or fire, we have manual alarms where you have to actually actuate it to wake up the whole ship. Right? Okay. We sound it off and it wakes everybody up. And everybody in the submarine navy is trained to know exactly what they have to do once they hear an alarm. Okay? That alarm is called the general alarm. When we hear it, I know right away within two minutes two minutes to go in and do my responsibility because if you don't, you might lose uh, shipmates, uh, you might lose co-workers if you don't do it. That's how, that's how we are trained in the submarine force. We hear alarms, right, any indications, and we act right away. That's great. Oh, go ahead. You have a minute. Um, do you go far away? Do I go far away? Yes, the submarine force can go anywhere in the world at any time. And we have a lot of fuel. We have a lot of fuel. But we can go. Hey, take off your jacket.